How to integrate infinite scrolling and pagination with Firestore in Flutter. Firstly, you need to have set up a Firebase project and connect it to your Flutter app. Secondly, to perform infinite scrolling and pagination, therefore we need to have some data inside a Firestore that we can load. In my case, I have added a collection with some post documents. To easily create these Firebase documents, you can create in your init state method an upload random method and here you reference the post collection and after it you generate 500 numbers. For each of these numbers I create the post object and lastly we add then this post object to our post collection whereas you cannot put the post object directly to the collection you also need to serialize it therefore we add a converter and inside of it we convert the JSON data that we get from Firebase to the post object by using the from JSON method and we also call the to JSON method on our post object so that we can serialize and deserialize our object therefore I have created this object with some fields and below it we have the from JSON and to JSON method for doing the serialization. All right, and finally you need to run your Flutter app so that all the documents are uploaded to the Firebase database and after this you can comment this out or you can also remove this code again. And the last step is to display these documents from our post collection inside of our app UI. Therefore, you only need to create the Firestore list view widget, which comes from the Flutter Fire UI package. This widget works similar to the normal list view widget, whereas you define two parameters mandatory. First of all, the query, all the data that you want to load from the Firestore collection. And lastly, you have an item builder where you can then display this data. Whereas over the snapshot, we get the data from each document and we want to convert it to a post object. Therefore, you need to go here up and define the post object. Then you see we get an error because this is right now not working. You need to go to your collection and here you add then also this converter that we have also used before for serializing your post object. And at the end, we only need to display this post object and therefore I return in this case a list tile and I display then the post title, likes and also the image in front. Let's try it out and let's hot restart our application and you will see that our app is then loading the data from the Firestore collection. Whereas infinite scrolling and pagination is automatically supported for your list so you can scroll down and we will always load more data from Firebase. You also can define within the Firestore list view the page size of how many elements are loaded once you reach the end of the list so in this case, 20 new items will be loaded from the Firebase collection. By default, if you don't specify the page size, then he will always load 10 more items. The post objects are currently unsorted inside the Flutter app and therefore you can call on your collection the normal Firebase methods such as order by. With this, after hot restarting the application, all post objects are ordered and you can scroll also down and he will always load more items that are also ordered. Sometimes you want to support infinite scrolling and pagination for other widgets than a list view. And if you want to do so, then you simply replace it by the Firestore Query Builder. And now within this Builder property, you can then define the widget that you want to display instead, in this case a grid view. Next, over the snapshot, you can get the length of how many items you should display in your grid view. And finally, we want to get then over the snapshot each of the documents and we get then the data of the documents so that we get a post object. And lastly, we only need to build this post object. Therefore, I create a new method and here I create a card widget and display then the post object such as the image and also the text inside. If you hot restart, two items will be displayed inside the app and this is the page size that we have defined. By default, if you don't specify it, then 10 items will be loaded. And here next to this successful case, we also want to add the other cases. So over your snapshot, you can see if it is currently fetching some data, then you can show a circular progress indicator and you can also display something if some error occurs. And lastly, to support also pagination and to display more data, therefore you need to fetch this data inside of your item builder. So every time you have to call the snapshot fetch more method, if you have reached the end of your widget. 
Simply check if more items can be loaded from Firebase and if so, then we load more data. As a result, if we hot reload, then he loads more data and if we scroll down, then he will also have this infinite scrolling and pagination automatically supported for, in this case, the grid view widget.